throwing up against them? No, I think it's a combination of both. I think they did a nice job of executing, and I don't think we did a, a good job of executing the uh, the details of you know certain calls, techniques. Um, you know, I could have called some better calls there, and so I think it was a combination of both. But again, you know, nothing to take away from them. You know, they were a good football team. They came out, they were ready. Uh, you know, and we had plenty of opportunities to get off the field, uh, and we didn't take advantage of that. And we've got to be better, uh, you know, on third down. You know, they, they want to go for it on fourth down. It gives us a chance to basically create a turnover. We've got to execute. And, you know, to only go one of five on fourth down isn't good enough. John Hale? Man, you all have been pretty good on third down entering that game. And then you still made the big stops in the red zone, rolling with the field goals, the one. Uh, fourth down stop. How, how did those things work to where you could struggle so much on third down but still make those those big stops in some key moments too? Well, I think the guy, the one thing that we did not play our best football by any means. Um, again, we you know we obviously struggled there on third down, but what I was proud of is the guys as the game went along, they never backed down, and I've. I'll be honest, I've never been a part of a 21 play drive, uh, you know, that went for almost nine minutes and uh, resulted in no points. So that's all the credit to them. Um, you know, that has nothing to do with play call. That's got everything to do with uh, rising up in the moment, gutting it out. You know, they were, they were tired. Um, but again, we had chances throughout that drive. We had chances throughout the first half and then into the second half to just get off the field early. I mean, we, we could have made that a almost a three and out on that first drive of the second half, and we didn't. And we just kept letting them extend it uh, over and over. And so that's where we've got to get better. Like you said, coming in, uh, we had been uh, really solid, especially on that third and long at seven to 10 uh, down in distance. You know, on the season up to that point, we'd only allowed two, uh, and then to to allow five different opportunities uh, on Saturday, just not good enough. Nick Roush, do you have any expectation on when you'll have Quentin back, and how, how did Mark Juan play in, in his absence? Um, you know, he's done. You know, as far as Quentin, uh, no on the timetable. Um, but as as far as Marquan uh, did some really nice things uh, in the game, you know, played physical, you know, some things we need to clean up, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, playing through our keys and our eyes. But overall, uh, I really, really liked his effort, uh, you know, throughout the game, uh, gave us a lot of good quality snaps, and we're going to need it again this week. Side of the ball for Georgia and uh, quite a bit different personnel as well this season. Just what have you seen from uh, from that unit, Georgia's offense this year? Yeah, you know, even with uh, with the new coordinator, you know, you still see a lot of similar similarities from uh, Georgia offenses in the past. You know, that's going to start there uh, with the run game. You know, they're going to try to be real physical at the offensive line, uh, try to move you off the point. Uh, the running backs are you know, as talented a group as we've seen, uh, and they can go three, four, five deep. Um, so they, they're really strong there. Uh, you know, the wide receivers, you know, have a lot of talent. You know, number 10 can flat roll uh, there in the slot. And number one, uh, a good, you know, big-bodied wide receiver with good body control, strong hands. Uh, you know, seven's really coming along, you know, as a freshman. Um, and then, you know, the quarterback's doing a nice job. You know, he, he understands, you know, where to go with the football. He understands how to manage uh, the game, uh, does a nice job protecting the football. You know, I got a couple loose in that Alabama game, but, um, you know, on the most part for uh, the entire season, he's really done a nice job being efficient. Uh, so that's really uh, sort of their calling card. You know, since I've been here over the last couple of years, they've been uh, – you know, they get explosive when they have the opportunity, but, uh, you know, it starts up front. They want to run that football, and we've got to do a good job of trying to, to limit that. Uh, and then when they do uh, 
when they do throw the ball downfield, we've got to try to, uh, you know, affect the, the QB so he doesn't have all day to, uh, to throw to the, some of those guys, you know, on some of their deeper routes. Well, you, you know, Yusuf's a guy that, you know, week in and week out, you know exactly what you're going to get. And he shows up, you know, he he punches the clock. Uh, he's a really good, solid tackler. So, you know, you make the point that you don't, you know, want your, your secondary guys making that many tackles. Going into the game, you know, I kind of knew he'd be up there in number, maybe not up to that 18 number. But, uh, you know, we were going to have him, you know, be a box fitter against that zone team so he could come from the top you know so if if we were if we popped a gap or we missed it he could clean it up um and so it's it's a real luxury uh you know for a, a coordinator to have a guy back there like that that you know he can basically be an eraser for you um you know but you also have to be you have to be smart with it too you know because you know to put him uh, you know, into situations where he has to do that, you know, down in and down out. Now he's he's rugged, he's tough, uh, he's smart. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we talked about it last year, you know, what a big breakout season he had, and he's he's just continued that this year. Okay, last two right here. I think you have both players here. So we'll go with Dr. Wong next. Brad. We've all heard Coach Saban said that in this day and age, good defense, uh, a good offense is going to be a good defense. As a defensive coordinator, I mean, surely you don't believe that, do you? What goes through your mind when you hear something like that? Uh, you know what? It's just it, it's a statement. Obviously, as a defensive coach, uh, you like to, to think that, you know, you can rise to any challenge. Uh, you know, offenses are – you know, more explosive these days. There's there's a lot of options. There's a lot of matchup issues that they can create. Um, but we like to, you know, think that we can create some matchup issues of our own. Um, so it's a good give and take. I You know, I don't know. Uh, you know, they used to say that in baseball, too. A good pitcher will beat a good batter. But I've, I, I think it ebbs and flows. Uh, we just know that you go against an explosive offense, you're going to you're going to have quite a challenge on the day, uh, but we're going to rise to that challenge, and you know hopefully our good defense plays better. Okay, last one, Nick Rouse. Roundtree got a lot of real aggravating yards. How do you get your defense up to, to go against another uh, bell cow running back that Georgia's going to bring on Saturday? I, I don't think uh, you have to do much to get him up. You know, I, I think our guys are, they're ready. Uh, you know, it's not just aggravating for uh, for people watching, you know, off the field. It's it's aggravating for the guys on it. We know we've got to do better in terms of gang tackling. Uh, you know, the scheme, you know, that, that Missouri ran last week a little bit, that outside zone uh, scheme, and we'll see it again with Georgia this week at times leaves you with some one-on-one -on -one blocks and they're they're more profile tackles than they are straight up uh you know you know squared up tackles you know if you're if you're a little bit more inside zone you can square a guy up run your feet you know trying to to come off a block on an angle profile a big strong back has a chance to to gain for another one or gain two you know it creates uh some loose gaps in there if you're a d lineman you know and you're trying to to stay, you know, have some gap integrity, uh, and then all of a sudden, boom, here comes the ball coming downhill off of, you know, off of three steps. So, you know, those schemes can create problems. It also can, you know, you can have some negative plays. I thought uh, our guys did some nice jobs there at times creating negative plays and putting us in situations to get off the field on third down, and that's where we faltered on Saturday. We've got to be better when those opportunities arise uh, this Saturday. You know, we've got to capitalize. We've got a chance to get off on third. We've got to do it. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.